Hi, this is Ken Kaufman from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and I'm really proud to be representing this absolutely gorgeous 1968 BSA B25 Starfire. One of the most gorgeous bikes from that era. It just looks right. The lines of it are beautiful. When I first saw it, the first thing I said was, wow. And usually when, when that happens, I know, I know I got a sweet ride. First impressions are usually everything. This is the last, we saved the best for last, of the Flathead Jack Collection. Jack's a 78 year old motorcycle collector whose uh, wife passed away last year and he's getting up there and he wanted to reduce his collection so he went and bought around 30 bikes from him. Um, this one is arguably the nicest of the entire batch, at least from a uh, you know, beauty uh, perspective. I don't know if it's the original paint. It looks like it's original to me. You can see the um, decals lightly. Uh, you can still see the BSA Starfire 250 decal. And on the tank here, it says winner of the 66 North-South Scrambles Championship. So this was built on a competition frame and the dealer used to decorate it with these championship winning uh, stickers before they sell them uh, to track the buyers and the performance vehicles. Only 11,935 original miles. Uh, 935 is a lucky number, that's my race number, and that's in the digit there, but uh, it's a beauty. I was hoping to keep it for the museum, um, but uh, we have to sell it to raise some funds for museum reparations. So you can still see on this side of the frame here, the original made in England decal is still on the frame. Uh, the chrome on the bike looks beautiful. The paint is definitely presentable. It's got patina on it, but this is, uh, you know, we did not paint the frame or put any lipstick on a pig like a lot of people like to do before they sell stuff. We're just selling this one exactly the way we got it from Jack's collection. So you can see the original patina on the kickstand and the kickstarters and, and all that. Um, bike kicks over beautifully. It's got a lot of compression for a little 250. Um, it, uh, the seating position, listen to that. You can hear that little thumper. Baby wants to run. Jack said it was the nicest sound a little 254 stroke he ever had. Um, and when you sit on this thing, when you close your eyes and put your hands on, it comes a perfect spot where the, the the bars, the peg relationship, I'm six foot two, this thing fits me perfectly. So um, the only thing I noticed on it was the uh, tank badge on the other side is missing. Unfortunately, I'm sure that's something you can get off the internet. The original Poisson tank badge. This one is in beautiful condition. Take a look at this close up. It's in, it's in fantastic shape. Uh, it's like a 3D badge. Um, the uh, throttle cable is nice and smooth. It's got the air filter intact. The exhaust system's in great shape. The wheels are nice and straight. It doesn't appear to ever have been crashed. The pegs are in good shape. The exhaust pipe is in beautiful condition. Um, you know, BSA uh, aficionados, go ahead and pipe in and tell us if I'm missing something here, but uh, everything looks good to me on the bike. So, um, it's a largely original survivor. Uh, we, don't, we don't have the, the time to resurrect all these bikes, so um, we have a staff of 10 here. Uh, roughly six of them are in the service department, so we're back up about two years and a lot of the bikes are getting sold as is. I can tell you the, the clutch pull is like butter as is the throttle and the front brake. Shifts in and out of gear okay, no problem. So I think everything's good on it. I did pull the NADA value. It shows the NADA value is $4,675. Um, the reserve set substantially below that, so there'll be a lot of room for a little sweat equity to put a battery in it, clean the car, find a, it needs a new fuel pet cock. The fuel pet cock was uh, uh, seized or um, the pet cock was like damaged from uh, fuel, you know, they kind of degrade, so it does need a new fuel pet cock. So, um, the, this bike was made from 68 to 70, and um, it, uh, it's a real tough engine, slightly under square with a 67 millimeter bore and a 70 millimeter, millimeter stroke. Has an aluminum, aluminum alloy head and barrel, and an iron liner, and a one piece forged crankshaft with two plywoods running to keep the vibration down and a duplex primary chain to handle all the power going the four speed training. In fact, we claim over 20 horsepower on this bike, so it's a 250, but it's got a lot of horsepower. It's uh, got great compression, kicks over nicely, and they're super great running bikes with uh, extremely efficient fuel lines. So um, the uh, styling of the bike is off the charts, beautiful chrome guards, the sculptured gas tank is gorgeous, and there's plenty of parts available for them. So, um, and they're considered to be stone reliable. Um, 
only you know minor issues like uh, you know rebuilding parts and stuff like that. But uh, just a super duper investment. If you want to bike that's going to outpace the stock market. Investment out outpace the stock market. Buy this bike. You want to buy yourself a classic, beautiful. Uh, I mean, if you look at look at the profile of the bike on this side with the pipe, on this side, Kenny. And this is this is you know the motorcycle is a is a, a work of art. And it's a classic. It's an antique. It's 50 years old. You're not going to find a nicer looking one. So if you want a 67 Starfire or if you wanted a 441 Victor, um, you want to get in the market, grab this little Starfire before it's gone because there aren't many of these out there. Uh, if you have any questions about it, give us a call 860-454-7024. Uh, good luck bidding on the bike. You're welcome to come look at it. Uh, we ship it anywhere in the country for 500 or less. So good luck bidding on it and God bless.